Hi folks, well, over the last uh, couple of years I've uh, accumulated quite a lot of uh, cast iron cookware for camping uh, so I really needed somewhere to store it all uh, so I've decided to build myself a, a chuck box uh, so I can store the cast iron in it and uh, take it with me uh, when I'm camping to use as a sort of camp kitchen. The chuck box I'm going to build is uh, based on one I've seen uh, built quite often uh, in videos on uh, YouTube but I'm putting my own um, twist on it uh, making it more suitable for uh, my needs uh, so what I'm going to use is this 12mm uh, ply I've got two boards of this I uh, don't know how much I'm going to need uh, I've done a sort of basic plan uh, but I'll sort of work out uh, as I go along so the first step is just get all the parts cut out and uh, to do that I'm just going to use my uh, circular saw as usual so uh, I'll get on with it and I'll bring you back uh, once I've got all the bits cut out right so now I've got uh, the main f the four main pieces cut that's the base the back and the two sides I'm going to fasten those together just like that um, I'm just going to use my uh, pocket hole jig uh, set to uh, drill this and screw it together so we'll see how this goes first time I've actually used it uh, while it's actually building something so hopefully it does the trick so I'll get this set up and then I'll bring you back right so hopefully I've got this uh, jig set up right uh, what I'm going to do is I'll put uh, one hole here one in the middle and one at the other side uh, that will drill through to the back this is actually the base and this is the underside of the base that I'm uh, drilling into. So I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully I've got this set up right. That went all the way through, but we'll uh, have a look. Yeah, it did. So you can see, I maybe should have went, removed the material a bit more, but we'll just clean this off, just with a sharp knife, just take all the bits off. So that's drilled a nice angled slot in, and focus in and out the uh, side there. And now I've got all these uh, little neat uh, pocket holes drilled, I can uh, screw the back and the sides onto the base. Okay, so now uh, all those screws are in, I've got a fairly sturdy uh, cupboard, or fairly sturdy structure at the minute. Uh, so next I'm going to do is uh, about 10 centimetres down here and put in the shelf uh, with the front on it just so it's like a, a top kind of cubby uh, so we'll get that cut next um, yeah we'll get that cut next so shelf and the front now that's a uh, top shelf in that's uh, all feeling a lot uh, stronger so uh, next up I'm going to do the doors the doors are quite uh, a bit more complex but uh, not going to be too difficult um, just because I've got the shelves in as well right uh, that's the doors uh, made up uh, so they'll open up they'll be hinged on the sides so they'll open up like that and then you've got these little cubbies in for uh, storing 
likes of um, oil and saucers and stuff like that for the camp. In here, this is uh, just going to be uh, cooking pots, uh, Dutch oven and stuff in there. And then the top here can be, uh, you can put a stove in there, um, or like you can do your washing up on it. And the top, when I do that, is just going to basically fold out like that, and then uh, be able to get supported at the sides uh, with these. Just fold it back like that. So now I just need to cut the top and find some hinges. Well folks, this is a progress so far. Uh, still to add uh, a latch uh, and I think I'm going to make a stand for it. But uh, how it works. I said this, is, this isn't my own design. I've uh, made some changes to uh, what I've seen online before. I have recessed this top bit, so your stove's in there, but it's kind of sheltered from the from the wind. So I'll just take a closer look round. So, uh, because I uh, recessed this part and didn't put another top on, I had to put these. Uh, well, had to raise these edges up, uh, which I hadn't thought about previously. So, uh, in order to have this here, I ended up putting a lip all the way around so that when you shut the top and the doors you see that there it slides under there like that and it gives you a reasonable edge and then it seals seals it all the way around so I said still to do the latch still to do handles because uh, I don't want to do them before I put the, uh, or decide how the stand is going, because quite often they slide over the top for storage, uh, so I don't want it, my handles to be too high to prevent it from uh, sitting on right. Hi folks, well I finished uh, linseed oil in the cabinet, and I also built the stand. I've done this slightly different to uh, others I've seen online. Um, these the ones I'd seen online, this and this was, well, that leg was one piece. But I was just making use of uh, the leftover wood I had. Um, excuse that door banging. Yeah, I just uh, made use of the leftover wood and a bit of offcuts from another sheet uh, that had already been cut in previous jobs, so they were small bits. Just to make the legs, so I did like eight legs and then just uh, strapping around the sides and use some uh, mahogany in here which were just off cuts we got for free off the window fitters uh, when they were here they'd brought some uh, junk from a previous job uh, so I just milled that down and uh, made it the size I needed also used that uh, for this edging around the uh, worktop as well as this banding that goes across the top and along the front there that finishes off that uh, really nice. I did it all the way around the back as well. You really to see it. A bit dark around here. But yeah, that's it. It's uh, just about finished. Uh, I've just got to figure out if I'm putting a latch on it or not. Um, but definitely going to put on uh, rope handles, I think. I'll see if I can get some uh, thick kind of sizal and natural looking rope rather than using like paracord or something like that. But yeah, I'm really happy with uh, how this has turned out and really desperate to get it filled up and uh, put it to use um, as a camp kitchen. Alright, I'll probably do another video uh, showing you once it's uh, completely finished. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. How is it going on here?